Now before doing any further operations you need to remove coolant from the expansion tank so it should be enough maybe I don't know 400 milliliters or something so at least like I don't lose too much of the uh, of the coolant because I replaced it recently and then I also have to remove the fuel pump pump so it's two screws two clamps and then um, two cables and also so what what you need to to keep in mind that we have two um, two cables not two cables two hoses that goes so the first one usually the left one it's the flow of the coolant in the uh, inside the heater inside the radiator heater in the car and then another one goes under back to the uh, back to the um, engine and then following the radiator so how to recognize we have you can see one line that goes in there so we have one line that goes in there so this one it goes into turbocharger and then it comes back into um, this connection so this is actually where it goes to the heater so it collects all the coolant from the turbocharger from the engine cylinder head and then it goes to the mm, to the uh, heater it's this one and then it comes back to let me see to that part so this is it's here and this is our EGR so basically it moves from from the heater through EGR and then into the radiator all right so now I, I will remove this uh, diesel pump <laughs> 